Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 05 July, non-farm payrolls day. Not much to do heading into non-farm payrolls. We just have to start thinking now about what we're going to do if this is a weak number or if this is a strong number. So consensus looks to be set around 165. Um, I would say a weak number will be below 80. A strong number will be above 210. Um, if it's weak, we buy euro. Um, we do believe that the market is going to get caught short on this uh, Christine Lagarde trade seems patently silly to be putting on a trade based on policies from someone we have no idea what's going to do and who also who isn't really starting their job until let's say November or December so there seems to be quite a big risk um, Euro top side um, based on positions that were put on this week which is basically short Euro all week if it's strong we buy dollar Swiss um, that's just straight carry plus um, we've had some bad news in Switzerland this week bad news about ongoing problems with EU negotiations and Swiss stocks now not being allowed to trade in Europe and um, there's a little bit of a story here uh, you, you could sink your teeth into but of course Swiss stories uh, are multi multi layered what you see in the media and what is actually happening is is usually quite distant two distant realities so you got to be very very careful um, about trading news in Switzerland but anyway uh, because of the carry uh, and because we're we're still sort of 150 points away from parity and this is that's sort of the 200 day 99.80 there's some room there's no real resistance here so dollar swiss will be our horse on a strong one euro dollar top side will be our horse on a weak one um, and there's not really much else to say it'll be interesting a little bit to see how stocks manage we're still holding here uh, at 3000 from that uh, late push on the half day Wednesday obviously nothing happened yesterday so far nothing's happened today uh, we're basically sort of 97.06 uh, it'll be interesting to see if this thing can hold and close the week above 3000 that would be incredibly bullish uh, if it were able to maintain that if you're a bear and you want to get short your entry now is 97 we've printed that low few times on the hourlies and we did have this sort of hourly bar here um, late on the third that was the last hour of trading gravestone doji but because of the shortened week and the lack of all the lack of volume and the lack of interest in general technicals um, I would say are holding much less sway here so but we will hit a bid through 97. We're tactically trying to be short this stuff. Um, on the same token, we will sell up at 30.25 today. So we'll sell on the reach highs, and we will also sell on what we think are possibly technical weak points on the downside. But just tactical stuff with tight stops. Um, we really need uh, an event to turn this market um, and don't know where that event's going to come but when it comes we'll all recognize it and uh, we'll be ready so again not much to say here um, euro dollar top size our horse on a weak one dollar swiss on a strong one been a really 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 quiet week considering um, you know the trade Monday was sort of resolution of the trade. 
Euro dollar has been basically a 30 point range all week. Uh, so not much to do here. So just be patient, uh, stay calm, don't try and force anything. Um, and what we're doing, I think what a lot of professionals are doing is, you know, we're just either trading very little or when we do trade, the size is much, much smaller than we normally would trade. We're just trading water here, waiting for the game to begin again. I know it's um, it's hard for a lot of you to understand, but if you think about you have 220 trading days a year, you have 2,210 years, you have 4,020 years, you have 6,030 years. There's always another day, there's always another trade. One of the keys in this business is to learn to plunge when the time is right and so and when the conditions are right. So what we're looking for is higher volatility and decent liquidity. So you don't want the volatility to go too high, so liquidity disappears. But you certainly don't want to trade here, uh, trade a lot here, when liquidity is very ample, but volatility is close to zero. Anyway, good luck today, non-farms. I will talk to you guys on Monday. I'll sharpen up um, some of the ideas heading into non-farms just after lunch, um, and we'll take a closer look at this. Good luck, peeps. Talk to you later. Ciao.